Hello, my lovelies. Welcome. Here we are with the Tarot Lessons 101. For those of you guys returning, welcome, my lovelies. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. Now, after having journeyed and crossing paths with the Justice card, we are now here face to face with the Hanged Man, Major Arcana number 12, the Spirit of the Mighty Waters elemental trump of water tree of life path number 23 the figure of a hanged man or a crucified man his arms clasped behind his head form an upright triangle and this radiates lights as you can see beaming light in his crown chakra his mouth is closed this is a very beautiful and powerful card first observe that the arms and legs of our crucified hero make a figure of a cross surrounding a triangle symbolizing the descent of the light into the darkness in order to redeem it is nothing less than the cosmic sacrifice that creates sustains and destroys the universe our perception of how we are part of this grand sacrifice has evolved over the eons the sacrifice meant one thing to our ancestors Example, how we view Jesus' sacrifice. It is the annihilation of the self in the beloved. The hanged man symbolizes that of the light into the darkness in order to redeem it. But the word redeem no longer implies an exact depth. Jesus dying for our sins and having to abide as to not be punished. A sacrifice that needs to be paid instead of redemption. In the eon of Horus, is the noble duty of the enlightened to bring enlightenment to those that are enlightened. When you think of the hanged man, think of, I am releasing. There is more than one religion that speaks of a man's sacrifice from a true, from the true Mithras in Roman mythology, Odin from Norris, Jesus in Christianity, and Osiris from Egypt. This card is often interpreted as representative of the martyr, as several saints choose to be hung or crucified upside down rather than replicate the manner in which Jesus died. The more accurate word other than martyr would be sacrifice. And each of those cases, the self is sacrificed for the sake of humankind. The expression on the man's face is serene. His leg is tight and he looks like he could free himself if he wanted to. He doesn't. He's going into willingly. Remember that surrender is an act of will. It is a choice to unclench one's fist and to hang oneself upside down and stay there. The hanged man is about potential rather than cart or kinetic energy. It's healing. It's becoming prepared to act. Observing this is in the stillness of one who is lazy or afraid. This is the stillness of someone collecting their resources of getting ready to act when the card comes up in a reading. It's about release, about letting go of all perceived control of your life and allowing the lessons to be observed. It's a good time for learning because soon you'll have to let yourself down from the tree and face the new realities that surround him. He is truly suspended in the air and in time. Sometimes if you don't know what to do, where to go, the best thing to do is just to sit there. Let's say that my client is having a hard time at work, at home, emotionally, physically, with family members, etc. This happens a lot, you guys. It's what we call dogpiling. One bad thing hits you, then another, then another. Next, now you're just covered up in crap, right? <laughs> I get a lot of calls from people <laughs> that are struggling like that. They're in the middle of that pile. They never ask about all of the other things that are going wrong at once. They, use, they usually ask one question. Should I leave my relationship? Should I move or should I get a new job? They are looking for one thing to fix in order to change their whole lives. Sometimes it's hard to see the trees in the forest. 
with your whole life has gone weird, it's very easy to scapegoat a part of your life and make that the problem. I'm unhappy, so I'll leave the relationship and everything will get better. Then they do leave that relationship, but still are unhappy and stuck, except now they're lonely too. Situations like this happen very frequently. Doesn't seem to be a good answer, really. But the one that seems to be the most effective is this. Sit down, stop moving. You don't have to decide everything in your life right now. The world isn't going to stop spinning, nor will you turn into dust if you just sit down and be still for a damn second. If your life is exploding and all of the fastest flying is around you, you can see clearly what could actually be an intolerant partner or at work a jerk off who upsets you isn't really a jerk off at the moment and really you're taking things way too seriously or too personal. That's the thing. Rather than going completely rogue on your life, the hangman encourages you to stop, to rest, to confirm that the decisions we're going to be making is a good decision. Then you move forward. Sometimes it's easier to point in one direction and say, that is the thing. That is what's ruining everything. And to be completely honest with you, and unfortunately, because we're people and we're emotional, we are often the ones who ruin it. Indecisiveness, inaction, not caring for ourselves properly or putting our fingers in our ears and saying la 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 and set ourselves up for that dreaded dog pile. Let's try to be a little bit more self-aware, more loving towards ourselves. It is about being still and having faith, having faith in yourself. With that still time, have faith in you. Let your mind go to no longer just depend on weak power of personality. What's a happy idea of the true self, of the divine, working through us in life sometimes, when entering a new phase demands a sacrifice? Because nothing comes without a certain death, this card prepares us for the great transition. What's to come next? If you notice the way this card is formed, you will see that his legs from <clears throat> form. You will see that his legs form a cross, and his arms and the top of his head form a triangle. A cross above the triangle is the inversion of the symbol of sulfur which is in alchemy, the fiery principle, when it's shown inverted, is a symbol of the completion of the great work of self through transmutation. They pointed out that the word sacrifice means to make sacred. When this card appears, it's time to look at things from a different angle, outside of the box. It may be easier said than done. However open-minded, we like to think of ourselves, we are often blinded by our perspective. We are often blinded by our perspective on things to see it from a different point of view or put ourselves in other shoes. We will be able to see things and a fresh set of eyes. From this new viewpoint, a solution may be found, but also can require a certain self-sacrifice, even if it's only to let go of our ideals. Key word for the hanged man is letting go, decisions, change, meditation, reflection, pause. To gain, one must sometimes have to sacrifice. To open yourself up to others' truths or others' perspectives that give solutions that bring about change. One thing is certain, whether the insight is great or small, spiritual or mundane. Once you've seen the hanged man, you will never see things quite in the same way you look at them now. His face, if you look at it, there is no sign of struggle or point or pain. He is surrendering. His halo around his head is a symbol of enlightenment and higher awareness and insight. His legs are a symbol of crossroads. We are stuck. We are at crossroads and at a loss for decision-making, which amplifies the message in this card to take no action. 
Rather, calm yourself and be still, and the answers will come. The ropes around his leg have always been known as a symbol of bondage, binding, and imprisonment. While he is there on his own will, the rope is there to symbolize the struggle against ourselves. The more we move, the tighter the knots become. The more we try to escape it, when we have patience and take time, we can easily figure out how to undo those knots. This is the time for decision making. While taking a pause, the hanged man speaks of willingness and a sacrifice to take short-term loss for long-term gain. It is about letting go of your immediate circumstance to regroup and reimagine and make a decision based on the new perspective that ultimately is for your greater good. Sometimes we need to let go to allow manifestations to take place. You were given an opportunity to change the direction. So like in all our series, who does the hangman remind you of? Does it remind you of a movie, character, personality, situation, or someone in your life? The hangman to me reminds me of a certain stage in my life when I had to make a major decision that was essentially going to change my life. Like some of you that have been following us for a long time, I'm sure you've heard this in previous videos. And for those of you guys that don't know, a while back in one of my videos, I had mentioned about the transition that I made from my professional life to doing what I do now. Throughout my life, I had been running away from my spiritual practice and the gifts that I was born with. I essentially was running from responsibility that came hand in hand with my practice and doing what I do. So I decided to go and chase career in my professional life. And I was extremely good at it. I was making very good money. And I'm naturally a fighter and competitor. I flourished in that field, all the while doing what I do on the side, which is practice, read cards, do healings, spell work, etc. Continuously consulting with clients and doing spell work, but I was not fully committed to it. It got to a point where I was being highly favored by my clients and my clientele started to grow very quickly. All the while in my professional life, I was also flourishing. I began to take on more responsibilities at work, overseeing and representing a chain of dealerships until I got to a point of being extremely burnt out, emotionally, physically, and energetically. I was becoming extremely overwhelmed and stressed because I could no longer keep doing both jobs. I couldn't fully focus because I felt like I was being pulled towards two different directions. I tried as much as I could to manage and juggle the more demanding it became. I was stressed beyond measure. I kept answering, or I should say questioning, if I continue pursuing my profession at the time, or do I continue growing and taking on all of those responsibilities, knowing I can count, knowing that I couldn't count on a specific income. With all the great perks that came with the job that I was doing, would I jeopardize that to pursue something that throughout my life, it almost felt like I ran away from? jeopardizing the stability and growth I had already made with no perks, no stability, but it's something that came very natural. I had become passionate about it. Cannot describe the immense feeling I felt getting feedback from my clients, being able to see someone come to me broken and beaten by life, by the struggles, to seeing them major changes, that their life is transitioning, having a new lease on life, to see their happiness be reflected in their smile. Yep, the hanged man comes to mind in that moment in point. The doubts sometimes can become so overjarring. I have been pursuing for a very long time, wanting to go up the ladder, working extremely hard. I took a step back, I meditated on it. I asked my guides that I would completely surrender that I will no longer fight, that I will put my hands up in the air and tell the universe, bring it. Whatever path is meant or I'm meant to walk on, let it be shine, let it be bright. 
and I will put my fears and doubts aside and make the decision and choice if it feels true to my heart. I did exactly that. I felt this immense energy of clarity that came over me. A little voice that said, we've been waiting. My heart started to beat so fast because right then and there, I knew exactly what I needed to do. Though I was unsure of the outcome, I'm going to do what I love to do, what I have become passionate about. There's no failing because if I love it, I'm going to do everything in my power to make it happen, sink or swim. Like I learned in law school, I'm going to swim. The very next day I walked into work and gave my two weeks notice, taking on more clients and completely submerged myself in the practice. And I never looked back. Of course, it comes with the sacrifice, like the hanged man. At first, it was difficult. It was unsteady. Literally got to the point of losing my car. Ran through my savings like no one's business. But after getting to the point of losing it all, I was blessed to gain it all back times three. I wasn't focused on the current situation. I was focused on what outcome I wanted. And that's what I focused on. It's kind of like letting the bridges that must burn, burn to the ground without hesitation, in complete faith and surrendering. That's the hanged man. It's complete letting go, even if you're scared, even if you're unsure. It is trusting the process. Well, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you a much better understanding of the hanged man. As always, it's been a pleasure taking this ride with all of you. Until next time, bye-bye.